Hello guys, Anang Tadash here. Uh, this is a model of effluent treatment plant or sea waste treatment plant. I was looking for model of sea waste treatment plant on YouTube and on Google but I did not get a nice one and also since I had project for my semester so I built this effluent treatment plant. I'm going to share you all the connections and all the pipe works and even uh, the wiring connections and all so that you can build one for yourself if you are at school or if you are at college. So let me explain about all the process that is involved in here and I would also like to say that this is the bare minimum part of a uh, serious water treatment plant since uh, there are like uh, primary or secondary clarifier and all and depending upon the type of treatment uh, maybe it's a serious water from a dye factory or from industry or local house household, household sewage the process may vary but then in the end it all comes down to treating the water so I'm going to start with uh, the screening chamber. This is the first part of sewage water treatment plant. What happens is raw sewage it comes to the plant so along with it comes for like plastic garbage bottles and clothes and lots of other debris which might clog all the pumps and the filtering process. So first thing is screening. We have let me just move this mechanical <coughs> arm. So we have a bigger screen, a uh, bigger, bigger mess where uh, most of the bigger materials get trapped, and then we have the smaller one. And this is a arm which I have. It's like uh, right now uh, there's nothing. I'll in the next video I'll show how all this works with all the water and all flowing. For now I'll explain all the components that is in this project so that you can <clears throat> so that you can make a model of this one yourself so what does this thing do is it it picks up uh, the dress or debris and then put it here in this tank I don't have anything right now so I'll just use this pen suppose it's filtered in this grid and then what this arm will do is it will pick it up and this is like the garbage tank or whatever you want to call so from this uh, seabase water it gets into the screening and then all the debris are screened and then the next water is water is sent to this is a storage tank so all the seabase water is stored here after screening and then it is pumped to the grid chamber uh, this is a chamber uh, it's like kind of settling chamber where uh, the there's like sands or small pebbles or whatever is not whatever passed through the screen it gets time to settle in this thing so we have three partitions here uh, first the incoming water flows here and then it gets enough time to settle or, i mean the heavier particles and then next we next it goes here and by the time it reach here like it it gets enough time to uh, settle down so once uh, all the grids are settled down next uh, the water is pumped into the clari clarifier tank so water goes inside in the clarifier tank we have this bigger diameter tank and then smaller one and then this is also important it is like the it like it diffuses or diffuses the turbulent of the water so water comes from this smaller uh, pipe <clears throat> and then here uh, we add the coagulants and all uh, like alum uh, so that the suspended suspended what you call darts may be settled down and water overflows from here it's 
overflow slowly into the into this bigger tank and since it gets lots of time to settle down so most of the uh, coagulants are settled down here I mean after the flocculation so in this uh, clarify we have this uh, this is a scraper once all those once all those darts are settled uh, this thing it rotates slowly and this this is the scraper which scrapes the darts and send it to the slice speed and also on top of that we have the just a second this is this part is a screamer water is water levels is up to this much water fills up to this much and then anything that floats like oils and any other thing any other darts it gets skimmed here so the heavier par particles settle down and then the lighter particles uh, like what do we call it, it, it is skimmed by the screamer and then after that uh, the water overflows into this another tank this is aeration tank here we supply lots of air and then anything organic is decomposed by the anaerobic bacteria sorry aerobic bacteria with the help of oxygen so after this actually there should be one more clarifier thing but then we don't have lots of space and then I, for the sake of explaining the process i'm going to just include this one after the aeration tank uh, most of the cleaning is done here and after the aeration tank it goes to the water is pumped to uh, the disinfection tank here we add disinfectants like chlorine and all and then from there uh, the water is pumped or passed into the sand filter the sand filter it's like uh, it's a process for filtering the water from bacteria and all so we have different different size uh, of sand and stone and all on the top we have the smallest one and then as we go bottom we have the bigger one there so <clears throat> from there from the sand filter uh, the treated water after all this process most of the water is cleaned and it is discharged into the river and this project it's a closed loop circulation so what hap what is happening here is like once we put the water it is cycled throughout this project i mean this throughout this model so this is a closed loop closed circulation system so even the discharge water it goes into this pipe uh, and then we have another now let me see. i don't know if you can see it yes we have another thing there with motor pump water pump so the uh, water from the river it is discharged into the tank and then it's since this is a closed closed circulation system so it's again sent back to that aeration tank for now and these are the power supplies we dip, we have different power supplies because there are lots of different different motors some are powered in 5 volts and some in 12 volts and some even in 120 uh, sorry 220 volts so this is a complete <coughs> process of the model and in the next video i'm going to show you the working demonstration uh, i just dried it because i needed to paint some of the parts so i drain all the water dried it and then some of the paints are still wet as you can see so in the next video i'm going to explain the working process of this and why we have provided switches in different places uh, we have four switches here you can add more and even you can add more parts in this project as per your choice so uh, next in in my next video i'll put water in every every container and then i'll demonstrate the working and the, and the process of this model so thank you for watching